Hey, this is Dan of Matarama. Today we're going to talk a little bit about window light. Oftentimes when people are thinking about it, they're thinking about this kind of directional but soft light coming in through a window, right? So remember that if you're, let's say, self-facing and the direct sun is pouring in through the window, that's not going to give you the nice soft quality of light that you want. You either need to be doing it on a day that's somewhat overcast like it is today, or by softening the light coming through the window using some kind of a silk or something, which we'll talk about a little bit. But I have Becca over here by, by my windows. She's uh, being lit from the side, from the first window, and then behind her I also opened up the window but I put the shade in front of it. That gives us kind of a bright background behind her, but you're not seeing out the window. It gives a kind of a studio quality, if you will, and really, really simple. So you can see the light's coming through the window, so if I have, uh, if I'm set up like this and I meter on her, and I make a photo, you'll notice the light's coming in from the side, which can be really nice, and it's pretty soft in this case, so it kind of works out for us. But a lot of times, if the light's a little bit harder coming in through the window, you might want to consider doing more of a, a, a profile type, type of shot, having them work towards the window. That way you get nice wraparound light on the front. So if I have her working towards the window, nice. If it is really bright outside, what you want to do is have the model bring their face to where it should be. So bring your face off to the side, and then you can have them close, close their eyes and kind of you know, let them know how to adjust themselves so their face can get exactly where you want it. And then when you're ready, you can say, okay, open up and then take the shot, then she can close again. That way she's not getting blinded by the harsh light coming through. Now, well, she's basically in the main part of the window, but if the light was really harsh, or if I wanted a little bit more of an even light, I could have her back up a little bit, so she's not getting hit directly by the window light. And by being further away from the window, it will actually lower her exposure a little bit, but the light will wrap around her a little bit better. So, back up a tiny bit more. Good. So now that she's further back and the light's a little more even on her face, I don't have to turn her quite as profile. I can have her maybe just like a little bit of a three-quarter shot. And, and the light's really going to be nice across her face here. Good. So also keeping in mind that I have a white floor here, so I'm getting nice kickback in the room. So it's actually really nice. The room is filling up with light and kind of being my own fill. So if I want my shadows to be a little bit less dense, I might want to fill in a little bit with a reflector. You could use one of those pop-up portable reflectors or even something as simple as a piece of foam board. So I'll have Dave come in. This is some foam board that I use here. It's just white on one side, black on the other. And we can bring it in to reflect the light back into her face. Good, so that gives a really nice even light across her face. When you're using a reflector like this, the most simple rule is have the person who's helping you bring the reflector in until you can see it in the shot. So look through your camera. And then once it's in the shot, have them back up a little bit. That way you know it's in as close as it can be, which makes it as big as it can be, and you'll get the most use out of it. Now, if we wanted the shadows to be a little bit more dense, we could switch to the black side and do what they call negative fill. And again, you want to bring it in. What that's going to do is stop some of the light that's bouncing around in the room to getting to her, plus the black will help darken up the shadows a little bit. So we can make it a little bit more dramatic. Okay, good. And that's going to make the shadows a little bit more dense. Okay, another thing that you can do is if you're in this situation, and let's say you don't have a reflector or the light's coming through because it's the middle of the day, it's really harsh. If you have something like a very simple curtain in the window, like I have these blinds here, I can just pull the blind. And now if the direct sun was coming through, this is now going to make this blind, which is much, much larger, into my light source. So that's gonna create, obviously it's gonna eat up some of the light, so I'm gonna have to open up my exposure a little bit. But what it's gonna do is create a much, much more even light across her face. It's also obviously easier for her to look at, so it's not gonna hurt her eyes. To look out the window, good, hold, focusing. And that creates a much nicer kind of wraparound light, especially if it's harsh light outside and it's not so cloudy. So window light can be some of the prettiest light to work with to make portraits, but it's not always sunny out. You don't always have a nice window and sometimes it could be the nighttime, right? And you might need to shoot in those situations. Next week, we're gonna have a video where we're gonna create window light using flash inside so you can have this kind of look anytime you want. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV and I'll see you next time on set.